Alright, let's discuss another method on how to factor a given trinomial when a is not equal to 1. This method is what we call slide and divide method. So, um, make sure that you will only apply this method if you have a trinomial and if your a is not equal to 1. So, the first step is to um, multiply your a with your c and you'll be able to get 6. Now, you will have to get all the factors of 6 so that the sum is equal to 7. Now remember that if your c is positive, in this case it is equal to 6, the sign of the factors of 6 should match the sign of the middle term. So since this one is positive, the signs of all of the factors that we are going to consider for 6 will be all positives. So what are the factors of 6? We can have 2 and 3. We can also have 1 and 6. Now, 1 and 6 will give us a sum of 7. So this will be the correct combination that we need. So you will have x plus 1, x plus 6. But we are not yet done the number that we use to multiply c or whatever the a is we are going to use that a to divide the second term of each factor so divide this by 2 divide this by 2 now if you can simplify 6 over 2 then that will be one of the factors 6 divided by 2 is 3 now 1 half will give us a decimal so what you need to do here is to slide your 2 besides the x, so your 2 here will become the coefficient of your x, so you will have 2x, then plus 1. So this will be the factors of 2x squared plus 7x plus. If we compare it to the um, first method that we discussed, the answer that we got here was 2x plus 1, x plus 3, which is the same answer that we have 2x plus 1, x plus 3. All right, next example. Again, we are going to use the slide and divide method. So slide 5, multiply it to 14. So 5 times 14 will get 70. We are going to factor out 70. The sum should be equal to negative 17. Since C is positive, the factors of 70 will, be, will have the same sign as the middle term. So it should be, the factors will all be negatives. So we can have negative 35 negative 2 we can also have negative 70 negative 1 we can also have negative 10 and negative 7 I think we can have 5 also negative 5 and negative 14 the, the only pair of factors here that will give you negative 17 will be negative 10 and negative 7. So this will be the correct combination that we are going to use. So our initial answer will be x minus 10, x minus 7. But whatever value of a that we use to slide and multiply to 14, we are going to use that number to divide the second term of each factor. So that a is equal to 5, so we have to divide each of the second terms of, or the second term of each factor by 5. Now we can simplify negative 10 over 5 as x negative 2. Negative 7 over 5 cannot be simplified as a whole number, so what we need to do is, is to slide 5 besides x, so it will become 5x and then minus 7. So this will be the factors. Let's compare this with the previous uh, method that we uh, used. This was the um, trial and error method that we did and we got the same answer. 5x minus 7, x minus 2. I will skip uh, number 13 and we'll proceed with number 14. So again, slide 6, multiply it to negative 5, we'll get negative 30. Now since this one is negative, the factors will be one positive and one negative. The factor that has a greater absolute value will have the same sign with the middle term. Okay, so let's get the factors of negative 30. We can have 6 and 5, 
this one is um, greater absolute value so it will be negative 1 and 30 30 has a greater absolute value so it will be negative we can also have 10 and 3 now 10 has a greater absolute value so 10 will be negative uh, 2 and 15 15 has a greater absolute value so 15 will be negative one of these um, pair of factors will give us a sum of negative 13 so negative 6 plus 5 is equal to uh, negative 1 1 minus 30 is equal to negative 29 negative 10 plus 3 will give us negative 7 2 minus 15 will give us negative 13 so this is the correct um, combination that we need our initial answer will be y plus 2 y minus 15 but whatever number whatever value of a we are going to use that value to divide the second term of each factor so 2 over 6 is 1 third so make sure that you simplify the fraction and then since this one is uh, uh, still a fraction then we have to slide 3 besides y so you will have 3y plus 1 so this will be one of the factors now 15 over 6 again um, we will get we have to simplify 15 over 6 so let's simplify 15 over 6 uh, in lowest terms 15 over 6 uh, 15 is uh, 5 times 3 6 is um, 2 times 3 so cancel out 3 and 3 so 15 over 6 is just 5 over 2 so minus 5 over 2 now you can also check your answer by using your um, Casio you go to the run menu um, type in 15 ABC 6 and press EXE you are going to get 5 over 2 which is the one that we um, got all right so again we have a fraction here so slide the 2 besides y you'll get 2y minus 5 so this will be the the answer comparing um, our answer with the previous method so these are the factors of 6 factors of negative 5 and we were able to get the same answer 2y minus 5 3y plus 1 all right let's have our last example so again um, I have a trinomial I have a equal not equal to 1 so let's slide 12 multiply this to negative 5 you'll get negative 60 now I have a C which is negative so we know that we'll have one positive and one negative the one the factor that has a greater absolute value will have the same sign as the middle term so let's get some factors of negative 60 so we can have 60 and 1 60 has a higher absolute value so it should match the sign of the middle term so this will be positive the other one will be negative we can have uh, 2 and 30 30 is um, is um, greater than than 2 so 30 will match the sign of the middle term this is positive this should be negative we can also have 20 and 3 so 20 has the higher absolute value so 20 is positive 3 will be negative we can also have 4 and 15 15 has the higher absolute value so 15 is positive 4 is the one that's negative now if we sum each of these pair we'll have 60 minus 1 it's 59 negative 2 plus 30 is 28 20 minus 3 is 17 and then negative 4 plus 15 11 the one that we need okay so our initial answer will be 12 y minus 4 y plus 15 but but whatever value of a that we have here we have to use that to divide the second term of each factor now 4 over 12 is 1 third now I have a denominator so you slide 3 besides y one of the factors 
15 over 12 will give us 15 over 12 will give us that's 5 and 3 12 is 3 and 4 so 3 and 3 will cancel out we'll get 5 over 4 again I have a denominator slide 4 besides your y plus 5 so this will be our final answer of course don't forget to um, check the GCMF first whenever you factor a trinomial in this case we don't have GCMF um, we can proceed with our slide and divide method once we have our answer do not forget to check your answer use the FOIL method multiply the first okay let's try to um, check our answer multiply the first um, 3y and 4y that will give us um, 12y squared outer 3y times 5 that's 15y um, inner negative 1 and 4y that's negative 4y and then last negative 1 and 5 will give us negative 5 combining like terms will get 12y squared 15y minus 4y will get 11y minus 5 so this matches the original problem so we know that this is correct